Hi, you guys. This is Providence of Phil Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again, Bill, the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. That I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Tidy, you guys, of this prophetic word is I'm shedding the lion's mouth. I'm shutting the lion's mouth. And so you guys, let me jump off into this word. So you guys, the Lord gave me the name Daniel on yesterday, just talking about his extraordinary and his excellent spirit. How he was able to interpret dreams and riddles and has for the last past few days been showing me the name Daniel. And then he even affirmed and confirmed it even further on today by giving me the time of 622 giving me daniel 622 god sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions they have not hurt me because i was found innocent in his sight nor have i ever done any wrong before you your majesty so because Daniel was acceptable in his sight, the Lord sent his angels to take charge over him and shut the lion's mouth. Daniel was falsely accused by the administrators. They were able to see the exceptional qualities and the uniqueness in him. And they were insecure and was trying to do everything to stifle him, to stifle his growth and to try to sabotage Daniel. And so they went to the king with the law that he had actually um, written in place. And the king loved Daniel so much and was upset that he had taken that law into effect, that decree into effect. So the king ended up throwing Daniel into the lion's den. The king loved him and could not even rest. And the next morning he went and checked and Daniel was still there. The Lord had shut the mouth of the lion. Daniel was favored and the king wanted him in charge of the entire providence. The administrators and the satraps were actually jealous of Daniel because the Lord chose him. As well as the king. So he had twice as much favor. The Lord is saying he is shutting the mouth of your rivals and he is exposing them and what they had planned against you. The Lord has already sent his angels to take charge and dispatch on your behalf. And all that they have sent your way is backfiring and judgment is taking place because the Lord wants you to know that he chose you. The Lord has already rescued, vindicated and delivered you from your enemies. Second Timothy four and 17, but the Lord stood at my side, excuse me, the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me, the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord has gone before you and made all your crooked paths straight and nothing shall come down your dwelling nor your house. And he has leveled the mountains for you. So he's gone before you made all of your cricket pathways straight. Anything that is coming up against you, the Lord has said it will be an epic fail. It will not fester. That he will protect and preserve you and go around this world for his chosen remnant. That he is going to get his glory by you telling your story. He has to get the glory. And he is not going to allow anyone to stand in the way of his glory. Hebrews 11 and 33 who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised? Who shut the mouth 
of lions. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has really edified, exhortated, and exalted your life in such a phenomenal way. And you were able to get that revelation and that understanding that Daniel just had gifts and qualities that just made room for him and he had rivals to traps and administrators that just they were just jealous and insecure they just did not like that so they tried to do everything to sabotage and try to distract and stifle him and they tried to make sure they could find anything if even if he was falsely accused in which he was to go to the king with to stop him from giving God the glory. From giving God the glory. And because of Daniel's heart and because of the favor and because the Lord had chose him. The Lord sent his angels to dispatch on his behalf and shed those lions mouth and protected and preserved and vindicated Daniel. And placed judgment on those enemies. The Lord said that had been the same for you, that anything that's coming up against you, the Lord is wanting you to know that it's going to be an epic fail because he's already sent his angels in advance to take charge over you, that he's already covering you, shielding you, preserving you, protecting you, that you have been vindicated. The Lord has said he'll go around this world for you, that he has leveled the mountains for you the same way he did, Daniel, that you're going to tell your story because it is him that, that has chosen you. You are his chosen vessel. You are his chosen remnant. And his word will go forth. Therefore, your story will go forth. And the Lord is wanting you to know he has gone in and caused those angels to shut the lion's mouth pertaining to you. All of the distractions, all of the jealousy, all of the envy, all of the sabotage, the Lord is saying nothing will come by your dwelling. Nothing will come now your house that he has already gone before you. Once again, I love the mountains. He has already gone before you and granted you his grace and unmerited favor. He has already gone before you and preserved you and shielded you, protected you, vindicated and delivered you. And he is in fact and indeed in the spirit as well as in the physical realm. Shed the mouth of those lions. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming. Because I'm telling you, they definitely keep me afloat. Just like Peter walking on that water, knowing that we have touched down, knowing that we have touched surface, knowing that we would never drown, knowing that the Lord got us. He has taken our case. He has made a way out of no way. He is watching us 24-7. That nothing is going to happen to us. I hear nothing will come to our dwelling. Nothing will come to our house. You may have came in one way, but you're going to flee seven different directions because he has already gone before us in advance. And he has already, once again, leveled those mountains, preserving us and shielding us from every angle, nothing missing and nothing broken. I'm shedding the lion's mouth. I've already sent my angels on dispatch. The Lord wants you to know that you are backed up in the army of the Lord. You're a soldier in the army of the Lord, that you are a chosen vessel. You are a chosen remnant to know your value and know your worth and knowing who and whose you are, that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people called out of darkness and into his marvelous light. That you have that favor on your life. That he wants you to know who and whose you are, that you do not have to fear going forth because he has already gone and leveled those mountains for you. I'm shedding the lion's mouth. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for sowing into this ministry. Thank you so much for the super thanks. I love you guys. I am always praying for you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success of God's best knowing that. Because of our prayers, because of our faith to believe that in all things we will succeed, because we put God first place in everything, there is no way that we're not going to be protected and directed and shielded and covered from every angle. There is no way he's not going to dispatch his angels in advance to take charge of everything pertaining to our life and the spirit as well as in the physical realm on our behalf. 
The Lord wants you to know that he is gone before you from every angle. Nothing missing and nothing broke. You have his grace and not merited faith because you have believed, because you have prayed. The Lord has said you will succeed because what's coming out of your mouth, his story, the Lord has said, oh, I'm going to get the glory. I'm going to shit every lion's mouth. I'm going to place judgment of everything that came against you and anything that's even trying to still come against you. The Lord has said before in advance, because he has already gone before you, he's ordered and orchestrated your steps. The Lord wants you to know it's going to be an epic field. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. I love you guys. Once again, and we will most certainly talk on the next day. Happy, 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 happy Friday to you guys. I love you guys once again and take care and have a phenomenal safe traveling grace weekend by the special grace and mercy of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.